Hello, I'm Bill Perthes, the Bernard C. Watson Director of Adult Education at the Barnes Foundation, and I'd like to welcome you to this week's Barnes Takeout, your weekly serving of art from the Barnes Foundation in Philadelphia. In 1918, as German tr troops bore down on Paris, the Lithuanian-born Jewish artist Chaim Soutin fled the city heading south. Accompanying him were his friend and fellow painter Amadi Badigliani and his dealer Leopold Zabrowski. Soutin settled in the town of Carre in the foothills of the Pyrenees Mountains, where he would stay for about three years. The landscapes that Soutin painted between 1919 and 1922 are some of the most, some of his most prized paintings. Today, we go together to Gallery 11 at the Barnes Foundation to look at one of these. So over here towards the corner, it's called Group of Trees, and it was painted around 1922. Now, let me bring that up here. Now you would be forgiven if the landscape subject of this picture is not immediately obvious. Uh, indeed, a group of trees verges on uh, abstraction. I would say actually it is the sort of best example of abstraction. And by that, I mean that while it eschews representation, uh, instead it focuses on expressing the and distilling the unique experience that art, the artist had with his subject. It expresses the intensified perception of Soutine with his landscape. But even if we can't decipher what the, the subject was, there are some very startling aspects of this, of this picture. So what can we see in, in this work? Well, for one, we have these curving vertical bands. And we see one, two, three, four, maybe five. Uh, and these extend from the bottom of the picture all the way up to the top. And indeed, some of them curve so that um, they actually hug the very the very top of the of the picture itself. And then between and behind, we have this blue triangular shape that moves in a diagonal direction. And then running from the bottom of the vertically thrusting bands and then wrapping around the base of the triangular shape is a still thicker band that seems to recede into the picture space. If we zoom in and look carefully, some of the striking aspects of this picture really present themselves. And that's that Soutin is working with wet paint on wet paint. So he's laying one color down and then going right back over it with another color. The consequence of that is an intermixing of color in these skeins and bands of, of mixed color. It creates a, a tremendous uh, color interaction and it gives to the picture a, uh, a very dynamic quality as multiple colors uh, are resonating to our eye simultaneously. In addition to that, and it's a little difficult to see uh, on a reproduction, but if I go back to the gallery view and zoom in, even though it might get a, a little distorted, you get a somewhat sense or somewhat better sense of uh, another really striking aspect of, of this picture and actually of many of, of Soutine's picture, and that's the, the surface quality of it. Not only was Soutine working wet on wet, but he was applying paint uh, oftentimes very thickly so that we get this build up, the surface build up of, uh, of paint, what's called impasto, so that the, 
the paint literally stands off of the surface of the of the picture, giving it a textural quality uh, uh, to the work. So that said, what what else can we say about this about this picture? Even before we try to decipher what the subject or elements of the subject might might still be. One thing is that the combined effect of these vertical bands, these curving vertical bands set against this diagonal thrusting uh, triangular uh, blue shape and then with this uh, still thicker band wrapping around is a sense of of writhing agitation. This is this is a highly active picture um, as if, for instance, these bands are uh, almost a chorus of dancers uh, thrusting themselves as they as they march uh, and dance across the picture the picture space. Um, so what might we how might we interpret this this picture? Um, what of the subject might we be able to uh, to recognize? Well, uh, one could identify these vertical bands as trees. Now, admittedly, Soutine has stripped them of all vegetation and really instead concentrated on the the linear aspect of the of the trees, of the trunks, and perhaps of some of the some of the branches. The blue diagonal triangular shape one could interpret as as a mountain, and indeed Carre is, uh, as I suggested, is a town that's really nestled into the valley of the Pyrenees Mountains that's surrounded on on uh, almost all sides, and so from almost every vantage point, one sees the the terrain and landscape uh, rising towards the towards the sky and towards the horizon. Now, what what can we perhaps make of the white and red shapes that seem again to be distributed between uh, and again perhaps behind the, these uh, vertical uh, linear units? Well, given again with a little bit of knowledge of the of the town itself, the red may register with the red tile rooftops of buildings and the white perhaps as the the facades of the buildings themselves. Some shapes like this dark shape here or this dark shape here, one could interpret as perhaps a door or windows of of buildings. Now, admittedly, none of that is entirely certain, um, but Soutine absolutely leaves room for us to uh, to interpret and to uh, to sort of put our own uh, imagination at work in this uh, in this picture. Uh, if we go back to the to the gallery and pull back and consider it in the context of the ensemble of uh, of Gallery Eleven, we're looking we're looking south. Um, the cluster, particularly of the works and objects on uh, to our left, uh, again, tell us a little bit of, about uh, both the qualities of the work by Soutine. It's paired with another picture by Soutine from around the same time. And be between them, Dr. Barnes has placed a work by Modigliani, who, as I said earlier, was a, a close friend of Soutine's. Uh, they uh, oftentimes shared a studio together, and it was uh, Modigliani with Zabrowski that Soutine uh, fled Paris down to down to Corre. The the juxtaposition of these pictures uh, is quite telling as well. Um, the Modigliani is in many ways the antithesis of the Soutines. Uh, girl in polka dot dress is calm and still uh, and very gentle in its qualities while the Soutines on either side, uh, as I said, have this writhing sense of, of agitation. Uh, in many ways, uh, not only these pictures, but other pictures in this gallery uh, are uh, pictures of contrast, of, of activity and stillness. Um, and the sense of, of atmosphere 
that Soutine is suggesting here. This is not just any landscape, but this is a landscape that also seems to be activated by its environment as if we're witnessing or in the midst of, of a storm that is thrashing these trees and uh, perhaps if we read the blue here to the, to the side and back as, as a sky, perhaps um, a, a sky potentially uh, ready to unleash a storm. Uh, this again, this sense of, of uh, high activity is uh, is conveyed in his work, and it, that stands in strong contrast to uh, to the Modigliani. Uh, and then finally, uh, something I often try to point out because uh, I think it's an aspect of uh, our founder Albert Barnes's personality that sometimes overlooked is his sense of humor. Uh, above the Soutines on either side, we have these objects. Um, now, what they are might not, again, be entirely clear because Dr. Barnes has definitely taken them out of their context, um, and he's actually combined two pieces together. These are actually gutter hooks. Uh, so there, this part would be nailed against the facade of a building, and the triangular part would, uh, would hold the gutter along a, um, a roof edge. But by combining them, the shape that they form is like a like a, uh, a wind turbine or a windmill. Uh, again, sort of a kind of visual nod to the sense of turbulence, uh, of uh, atmospheric turbulence that we sense in the in the picture by by Soutine. Uh, I focused on Soutine today for a couple reasons. One, that he's part of our current special exhibition, Soutine de Kooning Conversation in Paint, that runs through the 8th of August. And I want to encourage you to, to visit the exhibition if you can, uh, but also because he'll be the focus of two online classes. One, Soutine's uh, Technique, that runs from May 5th to May 26th. And that will be taught by a conservator who will actually look at the physical name nature of Soutine's paintings, and the other Soutine in the Barnes collection that runs from June 3rd to the 24th, uh, exploring uh, the important place that uh, Soutine plays in the Barnes collection. As always, I'll remind you that for all Barnes classes, we offer scholarships, uh, so please take advantage of that if uh, any of these or any other uh, Barnes uh, online class is, is of interest to you. So until our uh, our next Barnes Takeout, thank you for, for joining us. I'm Tom Collins, Neubauer Family Executive Director of the Barnes Foundation. I hope you enjoyed Barnes Takeout. Subscribe and make sure your post notifications are on to get daily servings of art. Thanks for watching and for your support of the Barnes Foundation.